spend some time in the Students fan themselves with their lab notebooks as a cauldron of mashed barley and water boiled in the corner of the room. The heat, humidity, and sweet smell of malted barley were enough to make you want a cold beer. But no one was drinking this batch just yet. The students are in an LSU College of Agriculture food preservation class. Brewing a batch of beer is just one of the many ways they will learn to safely preserve foods. Fermentation is one of the many preservation processes like that we're doing here today, uh, but we also learn about all kinds of other processes like pickling and all adding acids and sugars and salting or smoking a product. Subramaniam Satival, a food processing and engineering professor, teaches the class, which he says prepares the students for the workforce. The students work with equipment found in the food industry and use techniques that are employed in the food science profession. Once they learn from here, they can easily adapt it food industry. I feel like the hands-on lab like teaches you, uh, gets you more prepared for like real life situations that you'd be working in. The students participated in most of the steps of the beer brewing process. The mixture, which is called wort, was already boiling when the students made it to class. They added hops to the mixture and took temperature and sugar measurements. We are boiling down to uh, concentrate the sugars, to caramelize the sugar, and then to kill any potential wild yeast that may be present and would produce off flavors and, and affect the, the final quality of the beer. After boiling and cooling, the students added yeast to the wort. The yeast will convert the sugars to alcohol and accomplish fermentation. The mixture will sit for two months and then the students can see the results. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.